Yo, 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 my people. Today, I'm hosting a Roblox Bloxburg build battle against a robot. What? And that robot's name is Mid Journey. And as you can see here, it says it's a text to image AI where your imagination is the only limit. So how it works is you put in a prompt and then it gives you an image. So for example, this one says little red riding hood, girl, 12 years old, red hood, blonde curly hair in Manhattan Avenue, skyscrapers, realistic photo high resolution, little bokeh effect. And then it gave that person these four images. And there's a bit more that goes in to it. But when it comes to our video today, I have a prompt that I'm going to be using to build a house in Bloxburg. And then we'll put a similar prompt into Mid Journey and see whether Mid Journey made a better house or I made a better house. I'm curious to know who you think is going to make a better house, but maybe you need to know what the prompt is first. So yesterday, the day before I'm recording this video, I put up three polls on my channel, which you might remember, saying that I needed help with a video. The first one I asked for a season. Y'all voted for winter. I'm proud of that one because that's what I was hoping for. And I would have vetoed it if you voted for something else anyway. <laughs> number two, you voted for suburban house style. And number three, you voted for two floors. So I'm here at my trusty old Pinterest and I'm gonna just look up a suburban house because we need some inspo up in here. Oh my gosh, this one's like Tudor style. Oh no, I'm in trouble here. As much as this one is like probably more nice, this one feels much more like homey to me and I feel like that gives more of the winter Christmas vibe. This robot is going down. I cannot tell you how happy I am that this inspo pick had a picket fence. So there's our space. Ah, uh, that is very uneven. Wow, girl. Okay, this house is actually a lot different than I was thinking. And I'm gonna cheat and make this back so simple, just flat. Because in reality, what matters is the front, right? <laughs> and bada bang, bada boom, baby. And why aren't you letting me place that wall? And then I made it too big, oh my gosh. <laughs> there we go. We do need a bit of a porch. So I've got my flat roof and we're just gonna go something like this. And the fencing on here is gonna be a job for our basic railing, except I just realized that's not gonna work with this porch. Custom railing it is then. In case you're wondering how I'm doing this, I just use some pillows and size them down. And I'm gonna use a structural, I think I'll go with, you know, no, I'm gonna go with the wooden plank, the horizontal one, and then we can manually place it. Oh, that's seeming very difficult here. Yeah, that's not ideal. <laughs> Standard square beam it is. Yeah, that feels good. Oh no, I'm realizing something. If I do a gabled roof here, it's not gonna face how we need it to. Here's the solution. We're just gonna make this roof first. See, that looks right. Okay, and then I'm just doing a shorter one back here, just so we have a roof. Okay, it's all roofed, woohoo. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> now we're all roofed. I might do a few more windows than the original because it is inspo. I love that the door is almost exactly this one. And this like barely fits right there. Okay, the basics are done. Now it's time for the stuff that's really gonna make this house stand out and how we're gonna beat this robot because it's going down. You said that already. I am definitely going to veer away from the robot here. What? Are robot? No. <laughs> from the inspo pig because I'm going to use brick. I feel like a touch of brick can make a home a little bit more homey. I really want to go for this pink. I'm sorry, but I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Although I'm feeling not too confident yet in this build, I think these extra details like this wall trim and then also adding some pillars is gonna really make it pop. Okay, was I right or was I right? That looks so much better with those pillars and that trim. Don't mind the back. <laughs> we are ignoring the back here. Okay, wait, there's something I should do that I don't think I've really done before. Why have I been sleeping on this roof trim in Bloxburg? That makes such a difference. Okay, but why is this gate perfect? Oh my gosh. Something Thing else I've been sleeping on is making these little pebbles or stepping stones smaller. Like they're cuter when they're more like circular. Making this like a winter scene is what's going to be the hardest part, I feel like. But I think I have some tricks up my sleeve here. For one thing, I can make these trees white. Okay, I'm liking that. And then let's hop out of build mode. Ooh, look at that house from this perspective. That's beautiful. And we can try to change the ground color. Oh. We can't even do white. Well, I can make it white because I think 255, 255, 255 is white. Oh, it's a winter wonderland. <laughs> and then another trick is I think I can use these dirt piles and also make them white. See, now it's like a little snow pile. All right, y'all, our suburban two-story house in the winter time in Bloxburg is complete. So here is the final result. Are you ready for this? Woo, ain't she gorgeous? Gorgeous. I keep feeling like there's something missing and I can't 
quite put my finger on it. Oh, you know something? Can I make it snow in Bloxburg? Let's find out. Oh no, I can't. I wonder if we can once the winter update comes out. Maybe if I make it foggy. <gasps> Okay, okay. Now that's what I'm talking about. That brings the winter vibes. Yes. Look at this beauty. You know what? I did not color these things over here. Whoops. So I did fix that coloring, but I'm going to go ahead and take a picture of this because our AI bot mid journey is going to give it back to us in picture form, right? So we're popping this picture into Adobe Photoshop Express and I'm just going to do a little bit of editing. Ooh, I like that this vignette is like adding a frosty touch. Also, don't forget that there's like limitations to Bloxburg because like I would have way more trees like in the background but trees only get so big unfortunately okay I'm not the best photo editor but I think that's our final result and the moment we've all been waiting for it is time for the robot to take part in this build battle finally so the way this works is I have to type in slash imagine and then I do the prompt as it's showing you there I'm scared <laughs> I say that because it's my first time doing this ever I'm gonna say suburban two-story house because I'm scared if I separate those it won't get the picture and then we do comma so that's one i'm gonna put winter as my next argument then i'm also gonna go into a bit more detail and put like snow on the ground because winter doesn't necessarily equal snow this last one that i think i'm gonna throw in there is where we might have a little bit of trouble i'm gonna put like video game style we'll see i feel like i should add more but i want to see what we're gonna get with that <gasps> it didn't respond oh no why let's just try again i don't know why that didn't work <laughs> that was so anticlimactic why so i'm trying this in a newbie room in their actual discord server so let's see what we get now it's still not responding what's going on one eternity later it looks like the robot was down for a little bit that's why it wasn't working but it does look like it might be working now so i'm gonna try again and let's see if this works i'm scared but excited oh i have to accept their terms of service oh my gosh this is so annoying let me just do it <laughs> Ah! Okay, for the millionth time, let's try this and hope it actually works. Ah! Oh, I think it's starting. I think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna work. I'm so excited. I'm trying to be calm, but look at this. It already looks cool. I can see the winter snowiness. Oh, oh my gosh, there's one that doesn't even have a house in it. I'm pretty sure. Wait, that house popped up in the last one. Oh, snap. The snow beats me. I can tell already. Wait, I think it's done. Okay, so these are the four we got. Um, I think when it comes to a house, I gotta say I won. This one isn't even two stories. That's hilarious to me. But this is what we can do. If I click on this V1, it's going to like do the same thing again, but using that first one as like the base, if that makes sense. <gasps> Snap. Okay, here we have more based on that first one. I'm going to say that this third one's probably the best. I think that's how it goes. One, two, three. I'm hoping so because I'm going to do this again. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Now we have like two houses in this picture. <laughs> I don't know. For me, it's between like the first one and the last one, I feel like. I'm going to go with number one and and we're gonna just upscale that one. That's gonna be our final result. Okay, and here is our final result. Oh my goodness. From what I can see, this house is pretty wonky. <laughs> here we have the two finalists for the build battle. On the left, we have the human built by yours truly, two story suburban house in the winter. And on the right, we have the robot built by Mid Journey specifically, two story suburban house in the winter. Let me know down in the comments who you think won this build battle. I'm kind of rooting for my myself personally but thank you all so much for watching this video i love you all so much and i will see you next time bye we're recording it's all good this is gonna be a bomb freaking video you wait and see <laughs> i'm crazy yeah crazy to think you've won